tech room here. Thought we could go over a basic uh, resistor inductor capacitor, which is an RLC filter action. So let's get into it. So I'm going to build a simple RCL circuit. And um, well, it has to have the question why would one want to have such a circuit? Uh, but this, is, this circuit is used that if you want to pass through a certain specific frequency and try and filter away um, frequencies above the frequency of the signal you're passing through or below. And um, the frequency you pass through, or you pass most through, is called the resonance frequency. So, uh, in this case we have um, uh, 2 times pi times square root um, of the um, inductance and the capacitance. And the inductance needs to be in Henry's and the capacitance needs to be in Farrell. So then you actually, and in my case I have like, the resistor is on 10k, the capacitor is 0 0.01 microfarads, and the inductance I have is um, 10 millihenry, and that gives you um, around 15 kilohertz as the um, uh, pass-through frequency, the main pass-through frequency. So anyway, let's um, have a look and see what happens in different frequency situations. So let's say we um, increase the um, frequency by hundredfold. the signal so basically this went to um, uh, 1.6 megahertz and then basically nothing's getting through but also we could uh, we could try what happens if we um, actually reduce the frequency from the resonance frequency by a factor of 100 and see what happens out oh, here it's not so clear with the above the input frequencies. Let's rescale that. Oh, and you see also that it's, nothing's really getting through because this has a 20 millivolt scale now. <laughs> it's completely damp. So I'll put it back to the resonance frequency. But anyway, so when we're talking about the filter, then we're talking about um, a quality indicator which is called a Q value. And, um, uh, you need the Q value to basically be able to count, calculate the um, the band which it passes through, or the frequency band that it will pass through, um, until you hit the um, three decibel dampening point, which is, in non-technical terms, it means that seventy percent of the peak um, signal is left at each frequency side. So you have the resonance frequency in the middle and then you have plus minus frequency. So anyway, to get the Q value you first need to um, um, calculate the um, radiance per second um, from the frequency and that's frequency times 6.283185 don't suggest you memorize any disk stuff you can look up on it. But anyway, you have to remember to convert the frequency to for, to radians per second, otherwise the formula won't work. And then when you have the Q formula, then that's the um, um, frequency in radians per second times the resistance value and times the capacitance. And then I end up, in, in this nice circuit, you end up with a nice clean value of Q being 10. Makes things easy. And then you can use the um, Q value to take the resonance frequency, and then you divide the resonance frequency by Q, and then you get the, um, the, the delta frequency, which is the frequency band between the minimum frequency of the 3 decibel point and then the maximum frequency on, on the high end of the 
other side of the uh, resonance frequency, the other three decibel point. So anyway, let's see what um, that actually means in practice. So I'll feed in the um, the high value first, based on the Q calculation of the three decibel. So that's um, 17,507 hertz. approximately 70% of what the original value was. And then we take the lower frequency. That will be 14,323 hertz. Place that in. And as you see, the attenuation stays at, stays at the same level, but the frequency has changed. Anyway, to summarize, so if you want to actually try and um, filter a specific fre uh, frequency range, um, then you need to use these kind of filters. So at least you, you get a, a known attenuation for the frequencies that um, you don't want to really have. And you can, uh, you can adjust the... Um, the, the Q value by basically yeah, because you saw from the ah, you heard from the formula that when you uh, you can adjust the basically you can do it quite easy by adjusting the resistor and then you can uh, you can tune in with the value. So I hope you found that informative. Um, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button. Uh, merch is available. Uh, and um, you can buy me a cup of coffee, uh, links are in the comments, and um, I'll see you in the next one.